So uh, I'll okay. move along. Uh, angle number 11, a couple more before we close up shop. I'm going to talk about KO and Randy Orton from Crown Jewel. But before that, I'll just mention real quick from SmackDown when they had the angle where uh, Cody and Orton were fighting Imperium and then uh, KO came out of nowhere to fucking whack Orton with a steel chair. And the moment that I loved when was when Gunther grabbed Cody Rhodes and KO had a chance to help him. <laughs> And he was like, no, I'm not helping him. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> so that's when Guther chokes out Cody, which is a nice segue into the next angle that we'll talk about after this. Uh, but for right now, I'll jump to what happened between KO and Randy Orton at Crown Jewel. Okay, so what happened was basically the match couldn't get started. There was just all kinds of chaos. They were fighting a lot. And I think uh, Adam Pierce and Nick Aldis came out, and that's when there was an RKO. Adam Pierce took an RKO from a SmackDown competitor. I will mention that that's as a side story. I think that'll come into play when Nick Aldis and Adam Pierce have their feud. That he got he he couldn't control his SmackDown guys here, but so this match couldn't get started. They couldn't get him in the ring, and then it ended with a big top off the top of the of a guardrail in the audience, and KO like gave Randy Orton this really cool looking elbow drop. Straight out of Ring of Honor, you know, so that was the end of that, and then they cut away from that. So, uh, for this angle here on Crown Jewel, let's see what some ratings were. Thumbs up from Vlad and Robert, and I gave it two thumbs up. So I fucking love this. I thought this was great. I don't, I don't, well, I didn't want to see a match between them, really, so I was fine with them not having a match. To me, this was better. But I'll jump to you guys. Robert, one minute on the clock. Uh, thumbs up for this uh, non-match, but whatever you yeah. have to say about it. Yeah, it was cool. Uh, you know, I, I I didn't necessarily need to see a match either. You know, something like this happening is cool to see to break the monotony of, you know, WWE shows of uh, having match after match after match. This being a non-match altercation, well, I was fine with it. I didn't think it was great but I, I did like it enough to give it at least that one thumbs up so that's it all right vlad you as well anything you want to say about this whole ko and randy orton thing yeah i i agree with you Kion, that um i like that they didn't have a map honestly because <laughs> uh, uh i think it's it, it, first i think they have plenty of time to have a match they have survivor series coming up they'll probably fight again crown jewel didn't have to have it happen here anyways they might as well have some big uh, chaotic thing where somebody does something uh, crazy like, you know, Kevin Owens jumping from the guardrail onto a table. You know, it was a good spot. It was further their their feud and gets it, you know, more personal and things like that. Adding Nick Aldis and Adam Pierce, the general managers, gives them more credibility, I think. So overall, I mean, you know, good stuff. I thought this was a pretty good segment. I could have given it two thumbs up, but I don't, I don't know if deserve that but i think definitely at least one for sure because it was good it was pretty good